Why science works at all is the real mystery. Are you ready for this spiritual journey? Modern science often presents itself as neutral and purely empirical, as if it simply records facts about a mindless universe. But Pierre Duhem saw a deeper puzzle hiding in plain sight. Why does science work at all? Why should nature obey laws that can be expressed mathematically? Why should experiments repeat, theories cohere, and reality submit to rational explanation? Duhem, one of the most important philosophers of science of the early 20th century, argued that science does not operate in a vacuum. It presupposes something profound, that the universe is internally coherent, ordered, and intelligible. Without this hidden assumption, scientific inquiry would collapse. In this video, we explore Duhem's insight that scientific laws are not brute facts imposed on chaos, but reflections of a deeper rational structure within reality itself, and what this implies about consciousness, meaning, and the possibility that reason is woven into the fabric of existence. Duhem rejected the simplistic idea that scientific laws are direct mirrors of nature. Experiments, he argued, never test a single hypothesis in isolation. They test entire networks of assumptions, models, instruments, and background theories. When a prediction fails, we do not know immediately which assumption is wrong. This means science is not a mechanical reading of reality, but a rational interpretation of it. Laws are human formulations, yet they succeed because reality consistently responds to them. This success is not trivial. It suggests that nature has a stable structure that allows rational systems to latch onto it. If the universe were fundamentally chaotic or irrational, no accumulation of data would yield enduring laws. Duhem's point is subtle, but powerful. The effectiveness of science already implies that reality is ordered in a way that mind can grasp. Knowledge is possible only because the world is, at some deep level, intelligible. For Duhem, the true goal of science is not to uncover ultimate causes, but to construct coherent theoretical systems that unify phenomena under simple principles. A good scientific theory is not merely accurate, it is harmonious, economical, and internally consistent. Scientists instinctively prefer theories that fit, that resonate with the rest of knowledge. This preference is not forced by data alone. It reflects a deeper trust that reality itself is coherent. Nature does not contradict itself arbitrarily. Patterns persist, structures repeat, laws hold across space and time. Duhem saw this as the silent foundation beneath all scientific work, a faith in rational order. Not religious faith in a narrow sense, but confidence that the universe makes sense. Without this confidence, inquiry would never begin. Science advances not because reality is random, but because it behaves as if it were organized by reason. Here, Duhem's philosophy opens into metaphysics. If the universe is intelligible, why is it intelligible? Why should mathematical structures describe physical reality with such precision? Duhem did not claim that science proves God directly. But he insisted that science depends on assumptions it cannot justify on its own. The rationality of nature is one of them. Matter alone does not explain why the universe follows elegant laws rather than incoherent behavior. The fact that human consciousness, itself a product of the universe, can uncover its deep structure suggests an intimate relationship between mind and world. Reality seems to invite understanding. This raises a profound possibility. Reason is not merely projected onto nature by humans. It may be embedded in nature itself. In this light, scientific laws resemble expressions of an underlying rational order. Not unlike thoughts expressed through matter, Duhem's vision ultimately reframes consciousness. If reality is intelligible, and consciousness can recognize that intelligibility, 
then awareness is not an accident colliding with chaos. It is a point of convergence between rational structure and knowing mind. Consciousness becomes the place where the universe understands itself through lawful patterns. Science, then, is not a domination of nature, but a dialogue with it, a response to its inner coherence. Duhem's philosophy quietly challenges both crude materialism and naive scientism. It suggests that scientific knowledge rests on metaphysical ground, the conviction that reality is ordered, consistent, and meaningful. Whether one names this ground God, Logos, or rational structure, the implication is the same. Reason belongs to the universe itself, not just to the human brain. Pierre Duhem reminds us that the greatest mystery is not how much science has explained, but why explanation is possible at all. Scientific laws work because the cosmos is coherent. Experiments repeat because nature is stable. Mathematics applies because reality is structured. These are not guaranteed features of existence. They are remarkable facts. When we recognize this, science becomes more than technique. It becomes a meditation on the rational depth of the world. And consciousness, far from being a meaningless byproduct, appears as the faculty through which the universe's hidden order becomes visible. The success of science may be telling us something quietly profound. The universe is not only there, it is understandable. Before we close, we've noticed that some of you viewers are not subscribed. So if you could do me a favor and double check if you're a subscriber to this channel, that would be tremendously appreciated. It's the simple, it's the free thing that anybody that watches this show can do to help us here to keep everything going. So please double check if you've subscribed, and thank you so much, because in a strange way, you are part of our history. And if this journey resonates with you on a deeper level, we've just launched the official Spiritual Quest merch store. Each piece is designed as a symbol, something you can wear that reflects curiosity, awareness, and the deeper questions we explore here together. If you'd like to support the work and carry the spirit of the quest with you, you'll find the link below. Thank you for being here and for walking this path with us.